My name's Seb, also known as Mod Manx these days. And in 2017, I won Dead Man Mode. In 2018, I won All Stars. And in 2019, we also won another Dead Man Mode, which was great. I now work at Jagex as a junior content developer and it is my dream job and it's amazing. Dead Man is a temporary game mode in which you have a brand new save profile separate to your own one and over the course of some weeks you get to play the game again with different effects except because it's Dead Man it's PvP basically everywhere. The community is always very important for us so we've actually collected a lot of feedback and advice from the previous Deadman and the important thing here is to make sure the dev team and the community are on the same page. In similar to previous Deadman events, we will be giving you a starter pack when you join the server. This time we're giving you a staff that can cast fire strike as well as a bow that can fire some decent arrows and these will increase in damage and strength as you go through the combat brackets to give you something that at least has use going forward. In the future, we're hoping to transition accounts to World 45, if the community wants it. So we've kept this in mind and we're going to make the XP rates still good, but they're not going to be too excessive. We will give you increased XP as you play the game. We have five servers based on combat brackets and every time you progress between them, the XP multiplier will increase as you go up so you can get some very sweet gains. The point-based system is a new system we have introduced this time. The important thing here is the more difficult, the high risk of the activity you've done, the more point you will earn from this system. You've got clue scrolls, you get points. You do bosses, you get points. You get levels, you get points. Anything you do that can meaningfully contribute to your game can get you points. So because there is PvP almost everywhere, you'd think that PKs are the main priority for Deadman. However, there's a lot of players who like to play for the pure aspect of survival, the pure thrill of running around in-game, doing some content you love, but then there's also a danger. In Deadman Apocalypse, there will be events happening twice a day where we will be spawning a whole multitude of bosses such as General Grador and Krill Sarath. Is that how you pronounce his name? No. They are very powerful and dangerous monsters. So players will need to make decisions at that time to decide if they want to take the risk to fight this monster, earn the point and the rare reward. Through these breaches, you're going to be fighting a lot of bosses and a lot of players, so naturally the reward has to be worth it. What we're offering you are blighted weapons, copies of existing powerful items that are usable in Deadman, but accessible from these breaches instead. The three life system is actually a pretty interesting one, but also is a punishing one for the new players. It helped for the first two deaths, but unfortunately on the third death it was just far too punishing. So again, we want this Dead Man Apocalypse to be extremely fun and enjoyable and not too punishing. So you can play more casually and not feel like you're really far behind and if you die, everything's lost. I think the Cedro is also a system has been worked really well from the last time as no people have been loving that and we've got a lot of feedback about how we can make them better. One utility sigil is the sigil of vengeance. Now, you might think, why would we want vengeance? You can just use a spellbook for that. Well, you could just be on the ancient spellbook and also have vengeance, which will be an extremely different meta and make fights extremely scary. And there'll be several sigils like that that will change up both PKing and PVMing. In previous Dead Man events, we had a 1v1 finale. For this one, we are changing things up a bit. We are going to have multiple finales going on at the same time, essentially. We are going to have multiple worlds that anyone who's participated in Deadman can join. So you'll be constantly fighting people to the death while this is going on. And then we're going to throw General Gradle at you again. We are embracing the chaos for this. This is not a hardcore taunt. This is a fun explosion. We are just going to throw everything at a wall and hope it sticks, and we're going to have a good time doing it. 